items for the toolkit is how to deal with post-traumatic st stress disorder recurring nightmares, especially for the military, both for people who had seen combat, but also for those who did not see, see combat. And interestingly enough, those who did not see combat often had worse recurring nightmares as those who did have combat. So what is happening in the brain is that the electrochemical reactions that trigger dreams get stuck. The dream originates in the old brain, goes through the midbrain, and then to the new brain, to be simple about it. The midbrain contains the amygdala and the hippocampus, and they can they meaning and memory and emotion. Well, the emotion and the memory is so intense that the developing dream never gets out of the midbrain, never gets to the new brain, the cortex that creates a new story. So my suggestion is to take the recurring nightmare and change it, give it a different ending, or make other changes. And how do you do that? During the day, you rehearse the new nightmare. Let us say, for example, that a returning soldier was traumatized because the little girl carrying a doll was mistaken by him as a terrorist carrying a bomb. And the guilt was pervasive, almost suicidal. So in his case, the nightmare, which was a reenactment of what actually happened, can be changed in a number of ways. First of all, the nightmare could be changed by having the young girl hold up the doll and saying, don't shoot, this is just a doll. No, that didn't happen in reality, but we're not dealing with reality here, we're dealing with memory, and memory can always be shifted and changed in one way or another. Another way to change the nightmare is to accept the tragedy and call upon the young girl and say, I am so sorry that I made a mistake, but I'm going to devote a lot of my time to helping young girls and young boys who need help, and I'll do it all in your memory. So that's another way it could be changed. And then a third way it could be changed is to rehearse the nightmare and then add something. Yes, this is tragic, but this is war. War is hell. Everybody's a victim in war. She was a victim. I was a victim. <coughs> That's just the nature of conflict. Now, it doesn't do 
just to make a verbal rehearsal of the new ending, of the new nightmare, you have to get feeling behind it. <coughs> Latch onto the feeling that accompanies the nightmare, and so you can change the feeling also. So this is not simply cognitive, it's also emotional, affective, and it won't do much good just to use words. There has to be a feeling tone that accompanies those words. There are many, many other ways of dealing with nightmares, but this is something that is quite effective with actual research behind it and something that the aggrieved soldier or anybody else can do during the day. How many times a day? I would say 15 or 20. Find this quiet place to do the rehearsal if you can. So, give that a try.